I am disappointed in other white people because like we were the main people who voted for him. Embarrassing. I feel like The Simpsons knew what was going on like 16 years ago. But that almost half the country was in favor of a man who is extremely racist and sexist. Nobody's votes would have mattered anyway because Electoral College is picking the candidate. He beat the system. I've actually been to a protest uh, like against Trump. People felt that they were targeted because of their skin color and because of who they are, whether they were uh, gay, bisexual. That teacher said the day after the election, kids came in sobbing to school, worried about their future, worried they had to go back home. I have been hearing a bunch of news about like um, how he is so unprepared for office. I'm not as afraid as I am for myself as I am for people that I know. Being like a black person, I'm nervous that racism will increase. I'm scared of what's going to happen to us as a nation. Since I'm bi um, and like I feel scared for myself because uh, Trump pretty homophobic. We create the reality that we live in, so I do not try to live based on fear. Uh, I have fears for like friends of mine who are trans, and like I have neighbors who are Mexican immigrants. You know, generally not people who Trump particularly likes. I don't think Donald Trump is going to do anything, to be honest. So I want to believe that he might do something great with his power, and hopefully he does. The economy is definitely not going to do so hot. With wars, trade wars with China, they become aggressive militarily, and we get into another war, another pointless war that could have been avoided. Fulfill kind of all his promises, and like actually does like build the wall and like deport all the Muslim immigrants. Okay, the worst possible thing that Donald Trump can do as a president is not bring the country together because we're so divided. Well, the worst case scenario, well, there's going to be a lot, a lot more racism towards different types of social group. I mean, well, ethnicities, and there's also going to be racism against relig religions like Muslims, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's not called racism because that's against the race. But I don't know what it's called when you're like being hate crimes. There's going to be a lot of hate crimes to, to gay people and bad things done to gay people and um, Muslims and other types of things because that's what Donald Trump mostly spoke about too. I think the best case scenario is that Donald Trump goes back on what he says and he starts listening to more opposition. I haven't really researched the candidates and I did not plan on voting because of the Electoral College, but I'm still sort of curious as to how Bernie Sanders was like knocked off the list. Um, I'm curious as to these uh, third parties that we could have voted for as well. The reason that Donald Trump won isn't just because he would have voted for him, it's because the Democrats did not run a good campaign. They should not have elected someone like Hillary Clinton who people do not trust. Hopefully it's not gonna be like another Dick Cheney and Bush situation where, uh, you know, Mike Pence is the real person in power. I'm very baffled, like very much baffled by like how 11,000 people could just get up and vote for Harambe. Like, how does that happen for a joke? This is a presidential election. What are you, what are you guys doing? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully he doesn't get reelected. No matter the outcome of Donald Trump being president, it's not the end of the world. I guess the world ending in a nuclear explosion. <laughs>